I imagine that it is a huge undertaking. And you kind of just mentioned this when you're thinking, okay, you're not responsible for the millions of people watching this. But I still imagine as you are trying to create a series, The Chosen, that reflects the life of Christ, that is as biblically and historically, culturally accurate as possible, Mm. while still having to take creative license, for example, like Matthew, you depict him as someone who's on the spectrum. We don't see that in the Bible. And so how do you approach that huge task of trying to stay as accurate and grounded as possible while also being creative and creating a series that people really want to watch? Yeah. Well, what's interesting is uh, I would say probably 95% of the content of the show isn't directly from Scripture. People call it a Bible show. They'll call it a a Jesus show. And Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that, but I'll say... This is actually, I mean, the Bible is for sure the the primary source of truth and inspiration for the show, but there's a ton of content that isn't actually directly from Scripture. So to your question, it's a, it's a, it's a dangerous proposition. You know, you're walking a fine line, especially as someone like myself who loves the Bible, and I know that people who watch it, the majority of people who watch it are going to be wanting us to be remain faithful to the Scriptures as much as possible. 